Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another how to kill a kit with style process video. This is my sixth layout using this kit and I am super duper excited because it is extra seasonal challenge time over on Mercy Tiara's 27 day scrappy challenge. This is the sketch challenge. Moira gave us a bunch of fun sketches to choose from so I chose to do this one. Um, it seems very my style but also very different than the pages I'd been doing so that's why I decided to go with this one. Um, my mojo really took a hard hit this week with my cold. You can still tell my voice is a little funky. So um, yeah, I was having a really hard time being creative. So I felt like a sketch was right up my alley. That's what really helps me get back uh, out of my funk is using sketches because it takes all the hard design work out of it. Um, so right now I am just <laughs> turning my brain off and letting my hands do the work and put this page together by looking at that sketch that I showed in the beginning. So I brought in some craft card stock. Um, I've had that on hand to use with this kit once I kind of got down to a, uh, <laughs> the end of the paper, which I still have, I think, two full pieces left, but I didn't want to use a full one as the background for this one. So I'm just getting the main layers that were in that sketch down. Um, that's, that's pretty much all I'm doing. <laughs> I am getting a piece of that copper foiled vellum used up as the big banner that was in that sketch. And uh, I'm kind of just following, following the sketch at this point. <laughs> There's not too much more to say. That's really all I can do at this point when I'm sick and my creativity goes down the tank is just follow, follow a sketch and I'm cool with that. So I'm just getting this all stuck down. This page is about uh, me and my mom during the first few months, especially of Bennett's life. My mom more than me, she really took m most of the shifts, um, but we did do some really late night babysitting shifts over at my sister's house while she was home so she could get some sleep, <laughs> knowing that her baby was still in the house, but also getting looked after. So uh, my mom was over there whew, until like three and 4 a.m. sometimes <laughs> watching him so mom can sleep. Um, but yeah, I, I came over a little bit. I didn't stay as late or as long as my mom did, but I, I tried to help a little bit um, by babysitting. So <laughs> um, this page is just going to be called Our Shift. But I'm just uh, really copying the sketch. I'm doing a border punch, a scallop border punch there because there was a scalloped element underneath those top layers there. And then I'm getting another branding strip used up here as well. So that's basically most of what the sketch is. Now I'm having to try and figure out how I want to finish this. So I'm pulling in all the die cuts and everything that I have left to see what coordinates and what's appropriate for this layout. So um, I know right away I think I'm going to use a journaling card just so I can say a little something about what this page is about. There is a tab on the sketch on the big photo, so I keep trying to pull that one tab in, um, but it's just looking weird, so it never ends up actually making it, but you'll see me try a few times. <laughs> I'm just going to journal here, which is basically kind of what I told you before about uh, my mom and I trying to help with some late night babysitting shifts. I'm going to go ahead and stick down the photos because I know that's for sure where they're going to go. And I'm just staggering them the same way that they were in the sketch. And then I like that little craft speech bubble. I'm trying to use some more craft elements since I do have that craft card stock on this page. So I'm doing that tell me about it one, but it's making a really funny face in that photo. <laughs> so I thought that was sweet. And then I'm just going to add a little cluster down at the bottom with additional journaling. I saw that craft coffee cup um, and I did need some coffee before these shifts. So I thought it was still appropriate to the page. So I just added a little uh, extra journaling down there about how we brought coffee reinforcements. <laughs> I'm trying again with that tab. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Just going over what I have left. I do bring in a few uh, words. I try to get a few more of those stickers used up, but um, they just don't work, so they end up going back. But I do get all the maroon enamel dots used up, so that's exciting. I only have um, three gray and three black enamel dots left, which I'm cool with that, because I'll use those on other pages. Um, that pack, I really was concerned about the maroon 
and the uh, copper glittery uh, enamel dots. So I've got all those used up. So that's awesome for as far as this kit goes. <laughs> And then I'm just pulling in those uh, craft chipboard alphas again. I had to modify my title a little bit because I am getting down uh, to the bones of this this pack. There's still quite a few usable titles left on it, but I'm definitely uh, having to be careful about which words I use. <laughs> I did have to take a J and make it an R, um, but yeah, that doesn't bother me. I still think that's pretty easily readable. <laughs> And then it was just still looking very dark. I mean, this collection itself is pretty dark. Um, so I decided I'd bring in a few white elements to try and lighten it up a little bit. I did put a doily up there at the top. And then I'm just doing another border punch on some white scraps to tuck up under the bottom. And I think those little pops of white really help brighten up the page. Because this collection does go very dark very quickly. <laughs> but here are close-ups. <laughs> I love that picture of him. So yeah, but I was pretty pleased I got the enamel dots used up. Some more of that, that vellum, scraps, uh, chipboards, die cuts, and stickers. So I'm pretty pleased with everything I got used up on this one. I feel like my mojo is slowly coming back. So <laughs> uh, make sure you play along with us if you can. But yeah, thanks guys for watching. Bye.